In the world of Mustang performance, whenever there is a major change, be it a new platform or a new engine, there's always someone who wants to be the first. And what we've decided to do is go after the first to make a supercharged V8 2015 go in the tens, the first to have a naturally aspirated Mustang GT 2015 go in the 11s, and the first to have the new 2.3 liter turbo engine go in the 12s. The new IRS S550s are still a great drag racing car, so we wanted to go out and um, see what we could do with these three cars. You know, we've done a lot of engineering work on it. We've put a lot of time into doing the development of the engine and putting the parts packages together and really the calibrations on these. And, and it really, we're, we're highly confident we'll, we'll hit those goals. It's exciting to go from the production world and taking it to that next step and bring more out of that engine. But we still have to maintain the safety of the vehicle, safety of the engine, and its parts for the Ford Racing customers. So. What we like about drag racing from an engineering standpoint is that it really stresses the drivetrain. It is expecting the peak performance out of the engine for an extended period of time. You can be wide open here for a quarter mile. The 2.3 liter EcoBoost in the Mustang is a new member of that EcoBoost family. NA car, we did a few changes to the air intake system, but basically these are close to what any consumer can buy out on the street. Supercharged car is the bone stock car with our supercharger kit on it. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to go further every day in Ford Racing to give them what they want. 